Good morning, GMS. I'm Nolan. And I'm Alice. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of January 23rd, 2023. If you need to leave early from school, be sure to bring a note to give to the front office in the morning. Alice will be in the Commons tomorrow, Tuesday the 24th. Remember to bring $5. If you're walking to school, be sure to have something reflecting on so that it can be seen by cars. If you're going to the Music in the Parks, remember to pay your first $50 by January 27th. Your other $50 will be due by March 10th. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody. Welcome to GMS Roll Call. I'm Lacey, and today we are asking students, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is vomit. My greatest fear wo is roller coasters. My biggest fear is throwing up. My biggest fear is bananas. My biggest fear is middle school boys. Uh, my greatest fear is the roller coasters and heights. My biggest fear is snakes. My greatest fear is heights. Hello, welcome to GMS Sports. Let's look at this week's home events. Monday, January 23rd, 2023, 8th grade girls basketball versus Decatur Middle School, starting at 5.15 p.m. at home. Thursday, January 24th, 7th grade boys basketball versus county round two, starting at 5.30 p.m. at home. Thursday, January 26, 2023, Boys Wrestling versus Indian Creek Middle School, starting at 5.30 p.m. at home. Swimming versus Martinsville East Middle School, starting at 6 p.m. That's all for sports. Have a great week, GMS. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Harmony. And I'm Rebecca. Let's get started with number one. According to Time for Kids, on January 2nd, officials in Egypt said an ancient sarcophagus had finally been returned. It was stolen years ago. Investigators say the coffin was smuggled into the United States in 2008. It has been at the Houston Museum of Natural Science in Texas since 2013. U.S. authorities said in September that the sarcophagus would be sent back. We are pleased that this object will be returned to Egypt where it rightfully belongs, Alvin L. Bragg said. He's a top law enforcement official in New York City. The sarcophagus may have belonged to an ancient priest named Ankhemat. It's one of many stolen artifacts that have been returned to Egypt. In 2021, the Egyptian government recovered 5,300 of them from around the world. Number two, according to Dojo News on November 3rd, 2022, Andy Hackett, a British fisher, caught a 67 pound goldfish. The British resident encountered the impressive creature at Blue Water Lakes, a private carp fishery in France. It took him 25 minutes to tug the giant, nicknamed Carrot, out of the water. Due to the fishery's no retention rule, Carrot was released back into the lake after being photographed and weighed. Carrot was first added to the lake about 20 years ago. The blue water staff thought the bright orange fish would be a draw for anglers looking for something different to catch. The fish has steadily grown, surpassing 60 pounds for the first time in February of 2022. That's all for top training. Have a great day, GMS. Hello, GMS. Welcome to our weekly weather show. Today, I will be showing you the forecast from the week of January 23rd to January 27th. So let's get started. So first off, we have Monday. Monday, it will be partly cloudy, and it will have a high temperature of 38 and a low of 30. So generally, I mean, it's pretty cold. You could probably get by with like maybe like a very warm jacket, but you might have to wear a coat. So only seven mile per hour window, so it probably is actually 38. Tuesday, it's more cloudy, so you get less of that sun. If you're planning to get tan in the winter, you can't do it on Tuesday. High of 42, low of 32. So you, you could probably just wear like a sweatshirt or jacket or something. And there's not very much wind or precipitation. But that all changes on Wednesday, because on Wednesday, we have uh, snow. But it's not like major snow, just a little bit. Uh, it's a high of 36, low of 10. So if you're like at night, you really need to be wearing a coat and you really need to be wearing a coat this whole day because there's also a lot of wind, 20 miles an hour. Same with Thursday. Thursday is pretty similar, except just colder. High of 27, low of 16. You have 16 mile per hour winds. So you still got that big breeze and 65% chance of snow. Wear your coats. 
Friday, it'll basically be pretty similar weather again. Actually a bit warmer with the 30 and 17. It's the most windy the whole weekend. There's an 80% chance of precipitation. I don't need to keep saying this. Wear your winter gear. That's all for GMS Weather. See you next week.